blondes don't have more fun? <laughs> no, absolutely not. I always have fun, whatever my hair color is. It was that she had a sense of humor. So, anything else about her? Um, she didn't apologize for anything she did. I like that, too. That sounds sort of like Madonna. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a lot of the publicity surrounding this movie it centered on the sex scene. So uh, that, that the sex in the movie was going to be sort of over the top, and you certainly knew that when you went into it. Did you... <coughs> well, I, I didn't think it was over the top. I think this is a woman on, who's basically her sex life is on trial. So I think that the sex, her sex life is an integral part of the movie and that you, you know, have to show it to a certain extent. Did you ever consider not going maybe as far as the script or as far as the director wanted? No, I mean, I, I wouldn't have looked at, read the script and said I want to do it, but I just said I want to do it. I mean, I wasn't going to surprise him at the last minute and say, look, I, I don't feel comfortable with this. I mean, I thought they, they were organic, so organic to the drama of the film and, and I agreed with it going in so I stayed with that. Would you have cared if in the end the sex scenes had been cut in this movie to the minimum like maybe just implying the obsessive manner of your relationship with Willem Dafoe? You have all these scenes in the courtroom where they're talking about her unusual or unconventional approach to sex and if you never see that then you know then what's the big deal then what is everybody talking about? To me it's an, it, an important part of the drama. Is it your sworn testimony that by coincidence alone you happen to date both Andrew Marsh who died from a combination of sex and drugs and the doctor who treated him for drug poisoning? Portland's a small city. I even dated a man who dated a woman you dated. <laughs> Do you think you're capable of just answering the questions put to you? I'm just trying to explain myself. You deal so much in these areas of sexuality. Mm -hmm. So will that be the case again with body of evidence? Um, Do you probably, care? Yes, uh, yes it will, and yes I care. Um, I would like for, for people to go in there and just be able to judge the movie and, and or enjoy the movie for, for what it was instead of thinking about all of the stuff that they read about me. Did you have any input concerning, uh, you should pardon the expression, the climax of Body of Evidence? Most people who've seen, <laughs> seen this film, it's what happens at the end that seems to get the most comment and discussion. Were you satisfied with the ending? Yeah. Well, when you say the ending, you mean the very end? I mean, what, well, I mean the climax. Without giving film. anything away. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to tell too um, much. Yeah. I... I mean, that's, that was the story. Sounds to me like uh, you approach this pretty much like any actress being hired to do a movie. Well, I, I think you have to. Um, a movie's a sum total of, of, of so many things, a director's point of view, the way an actor wants to play a scene, the way the cinematographer lights it. It's, you would be fooling yourself to go into a movie and think, you know, I'm in charge of this and I'm gonna, I mean, look, you, do, you could do the best performance of your life and then somebody can go the editor can change everything that you've done by by cutting it differently so you really do have to um, surrender yourself well in the whole body of your movie making mm -hmm. have you been fairly satisfied a little bit half and half with the, with the way things I'd, come out I'd say half and half I'm I'm really proud of some performances I'm not crazy about some choices I've made as movies some movies I don't think were great movies but I was good in them uh, it's really been different every time I, th I, I think I, I'm probably most proud of this movie well while you were watching uh, Madonna talking with uh, Liz uh, we were